To understand heat sensitivity, we're going to use an example of an axon. And we'll say this axon wants to send information from point A to point B. It has myelin, which is a fatty substance that coats a good portion of the axon. And it has these nodes of Ranvier where there are channels. When you want to send an electrical message from A, it uses what's called saltatory conduction. It literally jumps, and it's very efficient. So the first thing to understand is what happens in the setting of an MS attack to that same axon. Here we have myelin, but here the myelin has been eaten away. So we don't have any myelin there. And these are those nodes I was talking about. We'll color them in. So now, when you want to send an electrical message from A, it jumps, but then it can't do anything. And you have what's called conduction block. So let me redraw that axon that had been affected by multiple sclerosis, where the myelin was eaten away. Sorry about that. Now you have those nodes, but here there's nothing. And so what the body does is it repairs itself by putting in lots of little channels. So now when you want to send an electrical message from A to B, you jump and then you can make little tiny jumps. And this is very inefficient, but it works. Now, if you add heat in the form of a fever or uh, in the form of even a urinary tract infection that raises the core body temperature or because it's hot out in Ohio, what happens is this system runs faster and it starts to leak out the salts. And when all the salts, specifically, specifically potassium, leak out, you can't conduct electricity, and so again, you have conduction block. Now, let me explain how we can try to address heat sensitivity in MS. Here's that same axon with myelin, and in the area where there's no myelin, here's the node of Ranvier normally, and another channel here normally, and another channel. And then we've gone in and we've put in these little channels. And we know that if we heat up this system, it's going to look like that. And you're going to have conduction block. So one thing we do is we can cool the nerve. And what I mean by that is if you cool the core body temperature, then you cool down the system and then it can work. And that's one thing you can do by wearing a cooling vest. Another thing you can do is 4-aminopyridine, and that's a medication. The brand and name is Ampira, and Ampira is a potassium channel patch. So it goes and it poisons closed some of these potassium channels, not all of them. So now when you add heat the potassium can't escape. And maybe some leaches out, but not very much. And so you can send a message from A to B by jumping, and then you're still able to jump. And this is how 4-metopyridine helps heat sensitivity in multiple sclerosis.